We'll start with roll call. Uh, Emma Cornwell. Here. Linda Kekos. No, Linda. Rodney. Rodney Kunath. Hey, Rodney. Well, uh, Council Councilor Labarge, Marianne. Here. Hello. Hello. Kathy Murray. Here. Uh, Marilyn Claire. Michael Morton. Um, Amy Sugihara. Sugihara. Here. Hi. Hello. And, uh, which leads us to our next thing we wanted to introduce Amy to the Disability Commission. She has been voted in by the City Council and we're very happy about All that. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I'm happy to be a part. Awesome. Welcome. Yeah, we had a very good interview on Amy. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Laverge. Excellent. Um, so it looks like we don't have um, any public comments. I'm not seeing any people, but are there public? Does anybody know of any public comments today? Just, just asking. Okay. Is Rodney here? Rodney is here. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Um, approval of previous minutes from February 14th, 2023. Is there a motion to approve? Move to approve them. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. Um, and so we'll go through the, the uh, Emma, do you approve of the minutes? Yes. Okay. Linda or oh, Linda's not here. Sorry. Rodney. Rodney, do you approve? Yes. Okay. Councilor Lubarch? Yes. Um, Kathy? Yes. Okay, and Amy, do you approve of the previous minutes? Yes. Okay, awesome. Uh, next, we're going to review the draft of the proclamation uh, to recognize July's Disability Pride Month. Yes, uh, so that is me. Um, I do have a draft. It does exist in my work computer, but we lost power um, at City Hall and there was I didn't, no one reported to work or we were told to stay home because uh, there's no power. Um, if we had power, I could remote in and I could share it, um, but I don't, I'm not able to do that. Like, so my computer's off at work because there's no power or it hasn't been returned on if there is power now. So, um, but yeah, I, it's, it's, it's just a working draft, you know, we'll, um, we'll propose, uh, we'll talk with the mayor and ask her um if um you know this is a starting point she can obviously change anything she wants on it but uh, before we do that i mean the this like per month is in july so you know like to get to our latest by june um so we have some time um but uh we can do that next month um but uh my apologies for not having it excuse me keith Yep. I'm kind of like having a hard time hearing you. Okay. If you could speak louder, I've heard something about the mayor and so forth. That's as far as I got from you. Yes. Uh, so uh, there's no power at City Hall, so I can't access the my draft because it's on my computer. Okay. Um, but we have plenty of time because the, the Disability Pride Month is July. So... Uh, we have some time to look it over. Yeah, That's why I explained the difference between a proclamation and a resolution. Sometimes with a resolution, we can do two votes in one night requested. Depends. Somebody might say, well, we want to do some amendments on it and so forth. It comes back in two weeks later. If we do a proclamation, it's usually through the office and the commission or committee that's ever working with her. You come right on the floor, the mayor does, it's approved because she's there, okay? There's a significant difference. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, but, you know, I just reference, um, you know, hey, um, we have this many people in Northampton who have disabilities. You know, we want to recognize their contributions and um, stuff like that. But you'll 
when we do it next month, it's provided there's no snowstorm that keeps me away from a computer, I will get it too. Right. Cool. Um, um, the next item is to discuss a subcommittee on creating flyers on information about the uh, about Disability Pride Month. Um, would anybody be interested? Oh, Marianne. Um, I, you know, being a city councilor, here we have Ward's Library. We have Ben, who is very vibrant there with people with disabilities. I'd like to bring him in forth with us and work with us on this, even on the proclamation. I know many residents, even in Ward 6 in the city, who go to, to the Forbes Library, even Lilly Library in Florence, okay? So I think as a disability commission, we need to look at Forbes Library, we need to look at Ben, and bring him in and work with our committee also. If he was willing to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to help. I, I obviously can't speak, you know, right this moment, but I would be, I mean, to like the library being behind this, but I'd be astonished if they weren't happy for me to use my time for this. I'll talk to Russ Carrier. <laughs> ben. Very good. <laughs> Um, uh, I had sort of brought up, um, you know, if we wanted to do anything else for, uh, the month of July to recognize Disability Pride Month besides the movie screening, like, I didn't know if we, um, wanted to create some kind of flyer to put around downtown with either information about like access people you know people with disabilities like um things we wish people knew mm -hmm. um or would kind of incorporate into um interacting with us or something like that um so i i had just sort of brought up this agenda item as um, just kind of wanting to know if the commission um, wanted to do anything else for Disability Pride Month. Yeah. How hard is it to organize a march, a walk? Uh, like <laughs> how much lead time and organizing would that be? Is that something of interest or did you I have? Think other ideas, Emma? Um, uh, um, that sounds amazing, but I've never organized a march or a walk, so I don't, um, I would defer to Jeremy, who has done that. Um, <laughs> to ask yeah, about. Uh, last year, actually, almost a year ago, almost a year ago, we did that in April of, of last year. Um, yeah, I think that's an excellent idea. I you think did that'd be very amazing. well with that, Jeremy. Yeah, it was a great day. It was a really great day. There were people from all over the community that came to the to the rally and to the march and people with all different kinds of disabilities, like in all different ages, yep. like people of different like there were there were kids there. There were there were elderly people there. It was like just a very beautiful day. Um, so I would definitely be interested in setting something like that up again. And, you know, to have the Disability Commission involved would be amazing. Right. Yeah. Um, Keith, were you going to say something? Uh, yeah, just um, one consideration, you still have to comply with open meeting law if it is a disability commission thing. So either A, um, we make it a public thing and a quorum of people has to be there. So five ninths of the people here um, and you have to be you know, sanctioned and say, okay, we open this March as a disability commission thing. Yeah. That way you can talk amongst yourselves. But if um, it is not, it is still a um, disability thing, but it's not a quorum, then you can't, you can't have um, uh, like discussions about things. So it gets very complicated. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. 
seems like it could be possible to do that or if we were yeah, just to, make sure that we follow the yeah yeah okay maybe we could um talk more about that soon and, um and also we were talking about a subcommittee so maybe we could talk about who would want to maybe who'd want to be on that subcommittee counselor yes i'm having a problem um with my hand raising thing everything every time i oh sorry i, I get shut off um but anyways keith is really correct about that we need to be very careful about the quorum and what we're doing here so anyways i think it's great but i would like to look at the subcommittee about the flyers and so forth i think that's an excellent idea what emma's talking about and i'd be willing you know to help whoever maybe amy would like to get involved and whoever of going to the businesses on main street i know a lot of them and i bet you they would be heroes ice cream they would be glad to put it on their windows and so forth i think it's amy excellent excellent visibility and it doesn't hurt to do that. We did that with a hair and fashion show for the new cancer unit that they were putting up at the Cooley Dick about, what, four and a half, five years ago. Several department heads with me and other people. It was excellent. We raised like 10,500 and something dollars, but we had flyers made out and did the same thing. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Amy? So it might be good to decide what we're doing for the month of July so that then whoever's working on the flyers can make sure to include that information on the flyers and then um, post them. Does that make sense? Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. And so I guess it's a big decision if we're going to try to organize a, a march. That's a a big undertaking, I believe, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's a we, very big undertaking. We man, we did manage to do it in a month. We like we ha we planned it in the, in about the, in about a month when we did it the last time. We started around this time, and it was like a month. It was at the end of April. Um, so I mean, it would be nice to have more time than that, but it, it is possible to do. You know what I mean? I think we could do it definitely. Does anyone have thoughts on that? Keith, what do you feel? I mean, he's our ADA coordinator, so I'd like to get you <clears throat> uh, I mean, it seems uh, what this would be in July. That's um, I'm also planning my annual action plan that's the time that it starts on july 1st so it's not a good time for me to 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 vote for that I, and i can support you but i i can't take a lead role in that because i'll i'll be trying to get my cdbg stuff started by july 1st um but uh, whatever you guys need for staff support i can do that okay cool counselor yeah. Um, right now, I think the drafting of the proclamation is very valuable here. And we need to look at the date when we're bringing that proclamation into city council. And then we can look at also, which I'm hearing from Amy, Jeremy, Emma, about doing, you know, another um, disability parade, whatever for the celebration of the Pride Parade for Disabilities. So I really would like to concentrate in with the mayor's office and get this proclamation set and make a date with Keith as our ADA coordinator to go in with the mayor and bring it forth. I think that's very important to get that language put in place and That's another thing, too, is because we're also going to have that meeting in July. The movie meet? 
You mean the movie? Yeah. Yes, yes. That needs to be advertised also. At the senior center. So you're right. We're looking at the proclamation. We're looking at possibly doing, um, celebrating the pride parade for people with disabilities and the senior center. Yep. There's three things here. Sounds great. Sounds. I think we can do a celebration. <laughs> I think it sounds great. Yeah. So we can, it's all doable. Definitely. It is. We, we have time to figure it out. Yeah. I think um, if somebody or somebody's feel like they can take on planning the, you know, spearheading, planning a march, that um, I certainly would, you know, be supportive and want to come and be, you know, be involved. But I personally feel like I can't um spearhead that that organization but I do feel like creating some kind of flyer or flyers is much more within my capacity so I would volunteer for that project as opposed to the march but if other people feel like they can take on the march go for it cool Jeremy, how many people did you have working together to organize the march? Um, well, it was mainly with, with my friend Olivia and I. Um, we, we Olivia Marshall and I. She, um, we kind of the two of us kind of took care of the content of the rally and like what we were going to say, and you know, you know, and we also figured out who was going to speak and things like that, like what speak, what the speak, who the speakers were going to be, and then my friend Liz um was the main organizer for that and um then we had a, a few helpers that day too like we had like medics and like and like people that were just helping out you know getting getting people anything that they needed and things like that so not that many people really okay. yeah this is a very small small organization jeremy question yep did you, did you have to get a permit for that because yes yeah, so, um yeah we got permission from the police for that and got a permit and we got a police escort also. Yeah. They like they escorted us all the way down King Street, and um, it was pretty great. It was it was really awesome. How much was the permit, Jeremy? Um, it was two hundred dollars. Oh, that high, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. I I I paid it. I I just thought that it was important to have the police it escort. Is. I agree. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> well, I just want to let you know the commission know, and I've talked with Keith about this. I am going to be leaving for Florida on July 8th. My family and I, as a counselor, haven't been anywhere for almost three years due to a health problem in my family. And I won't be back until the 16th of July. So I am going to be missing July 11th, not unless you want to bring it up the following week. I don't think you want to wait till when I come back on the um, the 17th, I'll be back. So if not, you can leave it the way it is and have it. But I'm not going to give up a vacation that I haven't had in three years. That's understandable. Amy? Um, if uh, the commission decided to go ahead with a march, is there uh, funding from the budget that, or the, you know, the amount of money that the Disability Commission has access to from the parking tickets, I believe? Or no, um, that money is specifically for Exactly. Um, paying for translation services, um, CART or American Sign Language or any other Braille, anything anyone asks. Um, and then we did authorize it for um, a construction uh, for a grant um, to pay the difference, but um, it was that we didn't get the grant, so we didn't have to use it. But, you yeah. know. 
Okay. So, so the commission has no access to funds to support something like this. Uh, no. Are we allowed to spend our own money on something like this? Like, or how would it work? Are we allowed to raise money or? Yes, you can. Yeah, um, I believe so, yeah. Sorry, I guess you can what? What was the answer? The answer I believe you can, yeah. You can you can raise money? Yeah, uh, I mean, there might be some more rules I don't know about if this is the first time this has come up, but. Yeah, no, it's, just, it's a good conversation, though. If, um, if we can do it, it'd be cool to do. Jeremy, I don't know. <coughs> yep. My hand. But, oh, sorry, I didn't see that. But Keith, I think, Amy, what you probably don't know, we never had any money, period, period. Counselor Tacey, when he was the counselor from up in Ward 7 and I, I invited him to one of our disability commissions. And hardly nobody here was on it at that time. And we had nothing, absolutely nothing. And him and I got together because he came to a meeting and he heard Tori Eklund who is, was legally blind and she worked at um, Safe Passage. She was a social worker there. She was awesome and she lived on my ward. And she had a brilliant idea of doing to the best that we could, of getting money, which we didn't have any money. We could do the braille books and restaurants and so forth, bingo, okay? And we reached out to Dan Yakuzo at that time from Eastside Grill, if he would step in and help us because owning the Eastside Grill and being very prominent in the city, he was like able to help us and reach out to owners of businesses. We went to the mayor, both Eugene and I, and sat down with Mayor Nakowitz way back then and told him, we have no money, we can't do anything. We made a special account. And we, and the, what we did was anybody who parks in a handicapped parking space, all that money comes to the Commission on Disabilities. And Keith, do you know how much we have now? We were up to about 23, 24,000, but that's gonna be gone, some of it. I I mean, like $180 from the last time will be here because it, we've only used it like three times for uh, Claire to do translations. So uh, it's pretty much where it was. So we're very fortunate. We got some money. We donated the benches up in Florence also, if you saw that. That was from the Commission on Disabilities way back. And we were able to use that money for people with disabilities, with the two arms and so forth on it. That's great. But we also can use it in other ways, like, like um, Keith is explaining right now. But I think, I don't know if we can go out and ask people for money for this parade. I, I don't know that. I think Keith, probably we need to talk to attorney Seawald on that because I, I don't want to be part of that. I cannot ask for money on the outside. Great. I will, I will confirm with that. Okay, cool. Yeah, that would be nice to know. Yeah, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm missing something like we can only use the fund for translation services and this grant. Um, but Marianne just mentioned the benches yep, we that were donated. So can we like vote to use the money for other projects? Um. It, it goes to city council um, and the finance thing. If I mean, we did when we voted last year to do the grant to pay the difference of if we get the grant, um, that was um, that was a stretch because it was not what is originally intended for. Um, but because it was going specifically for 
creating access to City Hall, um, you know, all the doors and the um, service windows would have been paid for with that. Um, but this, um, I, I, it's it's a very loose connection, and it, it's kind of not what it was intended for. But um, mm -hmm. I can't speak to the history of what Marion Lombarge was discussing. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So so, Keith, you're going changed. to revisit this with someone and. I'm going to uh, see what fundraising um, for things like a parade or whatever is allowed as a commission. I I it's never come up, um, and I don't I don't want to give bad advice. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's great. I I'd also love to. I don't know who to ask the the questions to, and you all I'm sure will know of. It, you know, having twenty thousand dollars in a bank account seems like a lot of money if we're only periodically using it for um, translation services. Um, you know, it seems like more is coming in with tickets than goes out for that purpose. And so I'm curious um, who decides how that money is used and how the rules might change about that if it is deemed worthy like you know an annual disability pride march put on by the commission the disability commission seems like a great use of some small amount of funds for the disability community um but you know you all know much more than i do about the ins and outs of the I agree with you, Amy. What's you know, that? I said, I agree with you. Oh, yay. <laughs> you know, it, it's just that things are changing now. The language has been changed. I keep, wasn't it when Wayne Fiden came aboard about this, of the repairs that had to be done and so forth? Do you remember that when Wayne talked about that? And he even mentioned that city council too of how we were doing and replacing the windows and so forth. And we were using part of this money. And you also mentioned it too. Of uh, replacing what windows? Huh? Replacing what windows? I'm not windows, something we were doing. We're doing something at City Hall or whatever with that money. Can you explain to Amy, she's a new right. commissioner. Can you explain to her how that money is being spent? Right. So right now it's only authorized for the basically two things. One of them was just a grant from last year that I applied for, and it was just going to pay the difference of what the grant would not cover. Um, we did not get that grant. So we can assume that that's not going to happen again. I mean, um, that will not be used. Uh, the other thing is more recurring, which is those translation services. Um, basically, so the ADA, it's broken into five titles, right? Title one, two, three, four, five. Uh, title two um, involves um, uh, city governments and either title one or title four deals with electronic communication and communications. Uh, so as a city under Title II, we have to make sure that the physical access to any program or building or whatever is, so our meeting, it is held remotely, but if we had this, you know, we would have to, in person, we'd have to have it in a building that is accessible. Um, also, that goes through communication. So um, we have translation service at the bottom, the text, that's okay, um, but if people require a cart. So a paid typist, uh, a stenographer, you know, they, if this is not adequate, we can pay for a cart person to type right. and it'll be, you know, 99% accurate or someone who reads um, uh, lips or who does sign language. Um, so those 
um, those requests, you know, they would either hopefully come to me or maybe they would go to the other staff person and then that staff person would ask me. Um, and within 48 hours, but there is a shortage of these um, these highly valuable people in the state. Mm -hmm. um, so the Mass Massachusetts Office on Disability says, as soon as you know that you need a trans this type of service, you need to request it. Um, so you can just imagine there is um, different rates, you know, um, someone who lives in Western Mass um, can charge less or will charge be less, charging less than a, someone who's working out of Boston. Um, but those Boston people, um, you know, they may be just as busy in covering um, remote meetings in the Western part of the state. So that pot of money um, can be used for those types of services. Uh, right now, the last three years that I've been here, um, only Rodney has asked um, for those services. Um, and it's, you know, $93 or something like that every month when it happens. Um, and the previous balance was like, you know, $20,000 or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, so that's, if you have any questions, I'm happy to. Keith, I think when you were out ill at that point, Wayne was taking over and running the meetings. He did mention about the municipal building, which I agree, Amy, push button for people in wheelchairs down the line. And that was part of it, of some of that money for restalling, changing the door systems at the municipal building, especially coming into city council and so forth like that. They couldn't get in. Um, uh, yeah, I agree. The 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 doors there are inadequate, and at least the outside door was part of that grant I applied for. Yes. Um, but uh, there is a lot of challenges to get that part of the building accessible the way we want it to. There are a lot of challenges. Um, I think you also should talk, away, um, Keith, about the technology equipment that we have bought in. This is the second time that we bought in brand new technology system into people with hard of hearing and so forth like that. That was up on the price, I remember that. That's when we're at meetings and so forth, like our commission, if we go back to the hearing room or wherever, we have the microphones and so forth and the ear things. Oh yeah, that was uh, funded by a grant. Uh, yes. It was not paid for this. Right. Amy? William, we paid money out of it. Keith, who decides um, how this money can be spent, that it can be spent for translation services? Uh, it was decided by city council. And I, I want to say there was another um, uh, like subcommittee on city finance or something like that. So it was... Um, you know, at least uh, two read throughs uh, on city council. Okay. Right. And so how do we have that revisited? Uh, we I'd have to, um, I probably want to talk to my director uh, first. Um, and, but yeah, it might be a, um, it happened a while ago. So I'm, I know. I'm grasping at straws at this point. I haven't seen too many of an orders coming in, Amy, of asking for any of the money and stuff like that for quite a while. And I think the COVID had a lot to do with that for going on almost, what, three years. But usually, I think the mayor is part of it with Keith and also with the planning department. And then they make a financial order out of how much that whatever the commission is looking at Keith will be working with them making that out. We have nothing to do with making that out. And then it comes to city council 
we make a decision right there, right on the floor. Do we go ahead and agree with it? Or do we want more open public comments? We automatically send it to finance. And I'm on finance. I'm a vice chair on that one. I've been on finance for a long time. And we open it up to the public, talk about it. And then we make a full recommendation to city council to go back to city council and vote on it. And it takes two readings. Um, what are other people's thoughts on this? I mean, is this, um, am I going down a pathway that no one else agrees with? I mean, I think we can definitely have discussion, but we're, we're getting into um, territory of a different agenda item that's not on here. And that's there might be one. people in the disability commission and committee, um, a community that wants to talk about this. Um, they're not here because they don't know about the discussion. So right. I think we should definitely talk about it, um, but we should try to get an agenda item and I can come with more information next time. Yeah, Keith, is it, is it possible um, for next meeting to yes. get some clarity around how, like, does the commission propose kind of we want to be able to spend some of our fund on um, disability pride month events and that goes to city council. Like how to, I heard you use the word authorize. And so I think we need to, um, I'm, I'm confused and it sounds like maybe Amy is also confused about who we get that authorization from. How do we get that authorization about spending the money in the fund? We can come with more clarification, yes. Thank you. Right. I would highly suggest this go on the agenda next time. And Keith, if you could talk with um, your supervisor on this and the mayor and also Alan Seawald. Can, sorry. Next week. can the idea about um, a March be on the agenda for next month as well? Yes, I, I, would, I think that's a great idea. I would love that. And if, if there are other ideas or maybe having an agenda item about brainstorming for, you know, if there's anything else we want to do in the month, I don't know how much people power we have to mm -hmm. put it all together, but um, just so it's an agenda item so that we can talk about it fully. Yeah. That'd be great. Thank you. Put it right on the agenda, Jeremy. Okay, awesome. We'll definitely do that. Can we go back around to the flyer when we're ready for that, Jeremy? Yes. Yes. Yeah, sorry, I was doing something. I was checking the agenda real quick. Um, we'll, we'll say that one more time. Um, can we go back to the 4A, the flyer um, agenda item when when we're ready for that? Yeah, we could do that anytime. Yeah. Is there something you wanted to talk about that? Sorry, I muted. Um, um, Emma had said that that is in your wheelhouse. And so I just wanted to, you know, hear more about that, like graphic designing stuff. You can do a flyer for us and you're willing to do that or brainstorming yeah. and being on the subcommittee. I, yeah, just so we kind of talk about a plan for that. Um, yeah, I didn't really have more of, um, an idea before bringing it to the commission about exactly what information we wanted to put on the flyer. Like, is it fun, like general facts about disability? Is it like specifically information related to Northampton and disability? Um, 
Yeah. So, um, but I would certainly be willing to, if we chose a direction, be willing to work on content um, for the flyer as well as lend any sort of graphic design skills to that, but sort of not to bring the money issue back up again, but also mm. um, just thinking about if we have the means to print the flyers, um, I guess it sort of goes back to the fun. <laughs> I think that I think that's great, Emma, of what you're talking about. But I think we've already asked Keith to go to the city solicitor and find out what we can do with this money. If we can go ahead and put it toward flyers or whatever for this, you know, for the parade. Right now our hands are tied because we don't know if we're gonna have any money or not. Amy? Um, I, that's great, Emma, um, and very generous of you. And I, I feel like if the funds are there for us to use a little bit, I feel like paying someone, whether it's you or someone else to design the flyer, um, you know, it, a nominal amount would, would be, um, you know, kind of an upright, respectful thing to do and um, to pay to have them printed, obviously. Um, so I'm not sure how we do all of these plans without you know, a small amount of funds to, to make them happen. Hopefully next month we'll have more clarity on that, yes, on, right. on the funds, yeah. So can this subcommittee about flyers be on the next agenda? Because I feel like it comes after the yeah. question. After knowing, yeah, we have to know first. Yeah, okay. yeah, right, no, I, yeah, I know what you mean. Does that sound good to you, Emma? Yes, yeah. Awesome. Should we move to number five? Yeah, that's, um, that's about the public service announcement. Yeah, so we're gonna discuss the next steps on that. Um, it's not complete yet. Um, do you want to give the update, Keith? Yeah, uh, I did reach out to the East Hampton Open Media. Um, they're the ones that helped the East Hampton Commission on Disabilities um, to create it. And I guess they get a lot of video from Northampton. Uh, they did it last year, so they didn't just do it, you know, over the summer. And they posted it, you know, like December 1st or something. Um, to see if we could, you know, what does it look like if we borrowed their video or something, um, like just take the video part of it. Um, uh, but I haven't heard back from them. Um, and I, I don't know how attribution works. Um, you know, uh, I mean, if it's just a city video or something like it's nondescript, we're not using trademarked, things like that. Um, so I'm just waiting on them. And, uh, but I think the once we if we get a file or something um you know the northampton open media can help us kind of edit it and then put the, the audio over it but it seems like it's going to be a more of a next year type of thing at this point um because we're kind of late on the game if we could have it done before next winter though that'd be awesome you know what i mean yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um if if they don't allow us to use the footage would we what would we have another like alternative or is there anything else we could do about that or i mean we could get some public domain video or something um, okay again i i don't know how that works but yeah you know, you know uh, or we could literally just you know Take some Star Wars video and, that's <laughs> the idea and just use that. So, yeah, we'll get it done definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I asked Jeremy, yeah, is that if we 
plan on having a parade. Please do it before I go on my vacation. Oh, before you go on your vacation. <laughs> yes. Okay. Or after you get back on the 17th, you said? Yes. Is, is that right? Yes. So before or after, or do you, would you rather before? Whatever you want, because okay. I want to participate. Yeah, I, want you to, I would love for you to be there. That would be amazing. Definitely. But I know definitely I won't be here on the 11th. Okay. Okay. But I know you can handle it. <laughs> cool. I guess if we do it after the 11th, we could tell people at, at that are there about the rally. You know what I mean? And that's that another be... thing, Jeremy, about the rally. Yeah. Just off the books right now, you could go on the Bill Newman show. Oh, I know Bill. Bill yeah, I think I know him. I know him too. He just asked me to come on the radio and I couldn't because I was going to be at Mass General. Oh, cool. Yeah, that'd be great. There's publicity out there, believe me. Yeah, um, last year we, we got two articles in the Gazette be before the rally, so they they really helped us. The Gazette really helped us a lot to get to spread the word. And Ben is good too. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, are there any other? Oh, Keith, sorry, I didn't see that. I just raised it. Um. Yeah, uh, I want to talk about when we're talking about things for next meeting. I do want to put something uh, on the agenda for next month that will take quite a while. So I did an analysis of all of the on street and off street accessible parking in the city. Mm -hmm. I looked at the ordinance and I walked to every single parking space accessible in the city and I put my eyes on it. And there's a lot of issues with physically how they have been upkept and then some of them moved some of them disappeared some of them are not even on the ordinance hey. um and the language is just awful um so um there's a lot of edits it's, technically it's nothing hard but basically we're out of compliance and it's just a lot of cleanup work right um so i want the process would be you guys would review it you know, hopefully get your my bless, you know, get your blessing, and it go to city council, and then it would go to transportation parking commission. Mm -hmm. But even after we do all that, um, uh, basically we want to do that because we want to do the head of the main street redesign, and then we can discuss. Um, there might be one more parking space we're missing, um, but um, I want this is just a whole lot of work. Um, not really politically um, charged, um, but technically, I mean, technically it's easy, but it's just a lot of detail. Um, so I would love to have that on the agenda for next month That's so that I can get it to city council, then I can get it to TPC. So it would be three or four months before it can yep. be finished. Amy? Keith, is that something that you're allowed to email us with, but what about open meeting law? I mean, it'd be nice to see it visually instead of, or, yeah. or saying we're going through it like line by line during the meeting. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, if we put on the agenda for next month, I will. Um, I have map. I have. It's, I made it very visual because I'm walking through a whole bunch of stuff, um, and I'll send you everything, and I'll have it on the screen. And we can just go through it, um, but uh, until I, um, until it's on the I don't agenda. I don't want to give it to you yet, but yeah. But but you'll send it like a few days before the meeting. Yeah, we usually um, post the agenda. I I like to do at least six or seven days. Um, that way, it gives me time if anything changes. Yeah. Um, but the minimum is 48 hours by law. So 40 working day, 48 hours that are business days. So not including Monday or Sunday or Saturday or holiday, you know? Right. Okay, great. Thanks. Hmm. 
Great. <clears throat> um, is there any other business not anticipated? Anything anybody wants to bring up or talk about? <clears throat> Excuse me. No? Um, yeah, Emma. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I didn't know. It's just occurring to me. To, um, is there more that we need to do for the movie movie screening in July? Or have we heard back from any of the other commissions? That's a good question. Coming? I have not heard back from any of the commissions. I emailed them and I sent them um, gotcha. real paper. Um, most of them, I think they all, all the chairs appeared to be, um, uh, you know, volunteers. Um, uh, so I got some email messages saying, hey, I check this once a month or once a week or something. Um, but I haven't heard back from anyone. And then the, the room is all set. You know, as it gets closer, I'm going to go down the building and, and make sure technically the room is can hold movies and stuff like that. Um, it, it can. I just I just need to figure out how to do the do do it. Um, and then uh, at some point we'll have to have a discussion about do we want to have user catering services, but um, there'll be more of a discussion. Um, we don't need to know until you know June last week in June. So great. For something like that, if there's like a catering service, who who pays for that? I'm just curious. Well, as like, we discussed earlier, there's not a funding source for the Disability Commission to do that. Oh, so so somebody else would fund it, or yeah, or, okay. <clears throat> so, am I hearing right that a parent you have not heard back? From the ones that you sent out an invitation to, Keith? Correct. Does it make sense that we move forward just planning it ourselves and counting on many of us showing up? And I think if I remember correctly, Keith, you had volunteered to kind of spearhead the question and answer discussion period afterwards and yeah I mean I think uh if we just need an MC you know that could be one person and then you know if they come for the discussion great um and if we we said we don't need to know uh catering till last week in June so if they said hey 10 of us are coming then you know if we at that point we can you know mm. so yeah I think Planning wise, I don't think we need to really do anything until last week in June and then decide about the food. And um, we're this is open to the public, correct? Yeah. Okay. So we're somehow going to get the word out. Um, and sorry, I'm forgetting if if you all discussed it in past months of like. Yes. Are we doing a Gazette article? Are we, you know, plus the flyers that are, you know, down the road? We um, mentioned we mentioned a, a we Gazette article, but we that. haven't we haven't said, you know, talked okay. too much about it yet. But we did mention that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Should we put this on the agenda for next month? We have a big meeting next <laughs> month. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, just to. I wonder, and are we allowed to have maybe a subcommittee who kind of focuses in on the planning details of that day to make sure we're hitting everything? Like, would that make sense to right without violating open meeting law? So it would just be what three or four right people that could meet yes. who could who could actually do the planning and not have to wait another month to start. Exactly. You know, it feels like we've got at least that we know is moving forward and needs maybe some energy behind it to make sure you're correct yeah yeah that's a great I, I agree definitely i'd be happy to look at details with a few other people to get things done okay why don't we put it on the agenda for next month
you mean, sorry, uh, Councillor, you mean to vote on a subcommittee, you want to put that on the agenda for next month. Right. Gotcha. Because we got Michael okay. that's missing tonight and... Um, Marilyn Claire is also yes. not here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Anything else? No, nope, that's it. So, oh, Ben, would you like to say something? I just very quickly want to say there's been some talk of me helping and some talk of subcommittees. And I will say, yes, I am happy to help. Let me know what my role is and how that interacts with the open meeting laws, because I don't want to create a problem for anyone. So if just I'm going to trust you folks to very clearly outline how I can participate so I don't create a problem. Yep. Excellent. Thank you, Ben. Mm -hmm. Okay, I move to adjourn. Seconded. Okay, great. Awesome.